the symbolism of death in the tarot. Death is the 13th trump, or major arcana card, in most traditional tarot decks. Early tarot cards all depicted actual death, and were usually represented using a skeleton holding a scythe. But later cards have introduced more subtle interpretations of death. Often connected with the cycles of life, the growing interest in reincarnation and the concept of mystic death, of which more later. So we could be cheerful and just base the description in this video on the later ideas of mystical death, but we won't, because it will not actually be right for the vast majority of people. Death means death. For all those who are not on the spiritual path, and quite a few on the path who simply did not get to the stage of mystical death. To deny this would be to deny reality. So in this video we will first look at ordinary death, to remind us that we may have an immortal soul and we may reincarnate, but first we have to die. And then we will take a look at mystic death, what it is, and how this is represented in the tarot. Ordinary death. Disease. Disease is and was the main cause of death in the world, according to the World Health Organization. There were 60 million deaths in just one year, 2020, from disease. The main causes are heart and lung diseases, including stroke, birth, neonatal conditions, brain diseases such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's or dementia. Ordinary Death Epidemics Epidemics have also had a major but periodic impact. Even today, SARS, Ebola, Zika, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, polio and even bubonic plague still exist. Epidemics can also have a major political impact. When the French Emperor Napoleon decided to invade Russia with the largest army ever then assembled, that army was destroyed by typhus and dysentery. The biggest epidemics over the years include smallpox, which has killed at least 800 million people, including six European monarchs. Cholera is a major cause of death. But Bangladesh, India and the Philippines do not report cholera cases, as such figures cannot be provided. And this is a clinic in Dakar. Bubonic Plague There have been at least three outbreaks. It caused the deaths of some 200 million people in Europe in the 1300s. It is still active. Spanish Flu from 1918 to 1920 caused 100 million deaths. HIV AIDS has caused 40 million deaths. The darker the colour on this map, the more deaths. COVID-19, in contrast, has caused 6.5 million deaths. Ordinary death. Famine. 
Famine is generally caused by weather events, drought, flood and cold, but is exacerbated by rebellions and wars. China. China has had 172 million people die of famine in the last 400 years, principally caused by drought. Around 118 million died in the 1800s, and from 1955 to 1961, 55 million starved to death during Mao Zedong's Great Leap Forward. India has experienced catastrophic famines. The invasion of India by Muslims under Mahmud Ghazni about 1000 AD was one cause, but reliable records are only available from the date of British rule in India. At least 52 million died in states such as Hyderabad, southern Maratha, Deccan, Gujarat, Marwa, Uttar Pradesh, eastern Punjab, Rajputana, Kashmir, Upper Doha, and Orissa, nearly all of which were ruled by Indian princes. Famines were caused by drought and war. For example, an El Nino event was the failure of the monsoon for four consecutive years, starting in 1789. But famines in India can also be caused by flooding. Bengal, for example, is now called Bangladesh and has a population of 150 million. Its famines are largely caused by flooding and consequent disease. Even as late as summer 2002, heavy monsoon rains led to massive flooding in eastern India, Nepal and Bangladesh. Africa Famines in Africa are very poorly documented. The conflict in the well publicised by Afro War, for example, where figures are known, caused 500,000 deaths. Nigeria has a population of 206 million, and by Afro, 65 million. Europe. Few appear to recognise that Europe has had very severe famines. The Great Famine in the 1300s killed 7.5 million out of a total population of only 70 million. More recently, the Holodomor was a famine created when Russia confiscated Ukrainian grain in the 1930s and killed 8 million people. Ordinary Death War, including Civil War World War II, 1939 to 1945, resulted in the death worldwide of around 120 million, whereas World War I, 1914 18, resulted in 20 million deaths. China. Few people seem to realize what a violent history China has. It has been invaded, but by far the greatest number of deaths were caused by rebellions and civil wars, all of which resulted in the deaths of at least 160 million. Taiping Rebellion, Ming Tuqing and Lushan Duncan and civil war resulted in the deaths of around 86 million people. The Soviet Union, at least 86 million have died principally as a consequence of the revolution in 1917. 64 million deaths. And this is Lenin. And Joseph Stalin's policies from 1922, 20 million deaths. Europe. The Mongol conquests, 1206 to 1405, led by Genghis Khan, resulted in 60 million deaths. Wikipedia. These events are regarded as some of the most deadly acts of mass killing in human history. The Americas European colonization of the Americas from the 1500s onwards 
caused at least 26 million deaths, both South America and North America. Africa figures are lacking, but as an example, 1 million out of a population of 3 million were massacred by the French when they colonised Algeria in the mid-1800s. India has seen a great number of wars. For example, 6 million were killed in the Rukhal Maratha Wars, 1.2 million during the partition of Muslim East and West Pakistan, Green, from Hindu India, Pink. And more recently, 3 million were killed in the 1971 Bangladeshi Liberation War. The Blood Telegram called this a genocide. Archer Blood was the American Consul. Mystical Death We have selected four tarot cards that illustrate mystical death, each in a unique way. Salvador Dali's card Salvador Dali's card has a skeleton symbolising death but all is not as it seems. In the first place, a red rose is very prominent. We have a video on the symbolism of roses. Red is symbolic of the last stages of the spiritual path, when the self dies, annihilation, and is absorbed into the higher spirit. Dali's skull's head is also in a cedar or cypress tree, and the cedar is a symbol of immortality. Notice how the cloaked figure also has a small cypress. Alistair Crowley's card. The skeleton wears the crown of Osiris, which has ostrich feathers indicating judgment. All of the threads trap people in a web of reincarnation, endless cycles of birth and death. But they are being freed by the skeleton and the only thread left is connected to the phoenix. But not all rise, the scorpion, snake and fish, which collectively represent those who fail judgment, descend to lower levels. Despite its complexity, this is a fairly conventional representation of what happens during judgment, one rises or falls. Arthur E. Waite, the pictorial key to the tarot. The natural transit of man to the next stage of his being either is or may be one form of his progress, but the exotic and almost unknown entrance, while still in this life, into the state of mystical death, is a change in the form of consciousness, and the passage into a state to which ordinary death is neither the path nor gate. In other words, the Rider Waite card depicts mystic death, the rising sun of dawn on the spiritual path. The card uses a white horse as the means of transport, indicating it has taken him through the purification stage, further emphasised by the white rose. Those on the floor are simply those who are not on the spiritual path. Kings, queens, the young, even the religious, all of them are bypassed. Lunir Weatherstone, the Mucha Tarot. A long vigil ends at sunrise, and the knight who has undergone the ordeal lies naked and seemingly dead. His sword has been held in the possession of a priest, for no worldly weapons can be of use when the enemy is death. Setting aside the trappings of his mortal life, the knight offered himself on the altar of the ultimate sacrifice, to die to his old self and be reborn, purified, worthy of sacred service. Will death claim the knight for his own, or set his feet back on the path of mortality? To truly be transformed, it must not matter. Acceptance of endings is demanded, whether of life itself 
or merely one role in that lifetime. Something that is finished must be released. The new day is dawning. <laughs>